What's going on top producers? Alexander Fuzzolani here and today we are going to discuss three closes that are going to help you close more buyers and put more money in your pocket. But before we do that, I'm going to need you to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can continuously bring this content to you for free 99. And as always, this is brought to you by Design for Agents and e-commerce geared to making sure you have what you need to succeed, whether it be branding, marketing or organizing your business. You can learn more about that in the description below. So. When it comes to closing, there's a lot of different books out there. I've read a bunch of them. I've read things from Zig Ziglar and there's a lot of closes out there and a lot of people are preaching these different closes and that you need like 20 closes. But in reality, you only need a handful of closes to actually succeed as a real estate agent. You just have to get really good and really like fluent with how you say them and how you present them, right? So here are the three closes that I've been utilizing to make six figures plus working with buyers and it has helped me significantly and they're not that hard to remember. So the first one is the one to 10 close. So the one to 10 close is something that I even prep my buyers for. Like I let them know that I'm gonna close on them exactly like this during our buyer's presentation. If you wanna learn more about how to run a buyer's presentation, check out the link below as well. I did a whole video on that. But during the buyer's presentation, I let them know exactly what I'm about to do. So I say at the end of every showing, I'm gonna ask you from one to 10, what do you think about this property? And then anything over at 7.5, I recommend that we put in an offer, right? The reason why we do that is I've had clients that, hey, I love this property, you know, I like it, but I wanna check out more properties. They end up checking out more properties and still remember that first one that they ranked a 7.5 or eight. And then by the time they get back to it, it's already gone off the market, right? And I don't want that same situation to happen to you. So anything over 7.5, we're gonna put our offer in just to put our foot in the door. It doesn't guarantee we're gonna get it, but at least we're on the playing field. Then on the actual showing, I always ask them, one ten, what do you think of this property? If they say, you know, hey, think it's a six. What would take it to a seven, eight, nine, right? What would take it to a 10? So it gives me a better idea of what they're actually looking for, helps me identify their needs versus their wants, so on and so forth. So the one to 10 close is very, very powerful. The second close that I use is how would you set up this space? I know this doesn't really sound like a close, but it really is super powerful as well. So when I go into a bedroom, right, and they're looking around, and you know, a lot of agents, they go on showings and they're on their phones, just walking around aimlessly, right? Or they're just walking around, not saying anything. And then they talk to their clients after they walk out of the house. The best part to actually build an experience is during the showing, right? And to help them visualize themselves in the space is the key to actually have them put in an offer or have them feel comfortable putting in an offer. So when I'm in the space, hopefully the seller is not home. That's why I highly recommend that all listing agents get their sellers out of the house for showings, right? I asked them, what, what would you do with the space, right? I help them build that HGTV experience in their brain, right? So they're like, oh, I will put a couch here. I'll put this here. I would wall mount my TV here. I would do this, 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 and this with the space. Oh, I don't really like TVs in my room. I would probably have less bulky furniture. I would probably, you know, do this, 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 and this, right? I'm like, oh, this would be great for an uh, accent wall, so on and so forth, right? You're building that experience, helping them visualize themselves in the space, which is going to make that one to 10 close even more powerful after you guys leave that property, right? Also, you can identify and promote your um, contracting consultants or your contractors during that time as well, which is a lesson for another day. If you wanna learn more about referral team, check out the link below, all right? So this leads us to our third and final close, which is the tie down close. So this goes along with that one to 10 close, right? So one to 10, what do you think is property? I asked them, you know, if they say six or five, right? What would take this to a 10, right? They're gonna say, hey, I need a bigger kitchen. Oh, I need more land. Or, hey, you know, the rooms were really small. Once you identify those, you're gonna tie down with, okay, not a problem. So if I found you this exact house with bigger rooms, right? Would you, would, would that be the one? right? Or if I found this exact house, but with more, more land, would that be the one? Bigger kitchen, would that be the one? You ask those questions because now you're tying them down. If they say yes, guess what? You know exactly what you're looking for on the market now, right? So you let them know, okay, not a problem. So I'm not going to show you anything unless it has a bigger kitchen, right? Like I'm going to make sure that any showing that we have from this point has that bigger kitchen. Is that, is that okay with you? Right. So now you're taking down the amount of showings. The reason why a lot of real estate agents end up showing 40 properties, 35 properties 
100 properties just to be let down at the end of the day is because they, they get out of control. They just start showing everything. They, there's no strategy behind their showing. This is gonna help you identify strategy, right? On average, it takes me about seven to nine properties before I end up closing a buyer. Right? The first three are the ones where I'm kind of like testing the market. And then from there, I'm only showing them things that they want and need, right? Everything else is, you know, to the win. Okay. So if you use those three closes, I can almost guarantee you that you're going to close more deals. You're going to put more money in your pocket and you're going to have a better career. So there you have it guys. Those are the three closes I utilize. Let me know your closes in the comment below. I want to know what you're utilizing, what has been working for you. And as always, this is brought to you by Design for Agents and e-commerce geared to make sure you have what you need to succeed in your real estate business, whether it be branding, marketing, educating yourself, or just organizing your business. You can learn more about that in the description below. And as always, this is Alexander Fasolani, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.